Hey, how's it going, sir? How you doing? All right, wonderful day, I guess. Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Um. Oh man. Just you know, look, y'all. Hey, here's the one of the worst things a person can ever believe. The worst things you can, you know, the worst, number one worst thing you can ever believe is a reality that you created everything. Well, you know, the thing is, look, you were placed in this world. Michael W. Smith, I like that song. <laughs> But, you know, people are, y'all are placed in this world. Y'all did not create nothing. You know, it's Genesis 1 and 1. You know, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Y'all got to accept that reality because nobody's not accepting that reality. They just looking at the world that they're in and seeing the accomplishments that they did and seeing what, you know, they're doing in their life and seeing what's happening from their spectrum and their view and say, hey, my world. <laughs> oh, this is my world. This is my world. And guess what? I can do what I want to do with it. Yep, that's what Satan got y'all on that crazy, you know. Look, <laughs> that is a lie. It is a lie according to reality. I am about preaching reality to you. I can prove it. Where did you came out? Your mother's womb. I don't think... A world was in your a, a, a world or earth was in your hand that you created that you you know pulled out of your uh, mother's womb and and, and and just put it out there you know you just bam oh my world oh let me go do what I want to do with it let me go do this let me go do that let me go do that let me go do this because this is the number one number one uh, idea that you got to understand you have to understand oh I know you know that yeah you know not knowledge of your carnal mind and Satan's adding more nonsense to your carnal mind each and every day to give you a reality give present a fantasy that you create a reality because you like that fantasy that hey I you know, you, you did this, you did that, you did this, you did that. Then it's yours and do what the heck you want with it. <laughs> I mean, um, doesn't really work out that way. You know, um, it, it's not, it's not, it's not going to work out that way. But guess what? The more you start believing, I learn more people believe, the more people develop reasons for it, you know, and that's, is a cataclysmic disaster to anybody. You believing in this fantasy world that, you know, hey, you know, it's mine, I can do what I want to it. See, technically in the kingdom of heaven uh, perspective, which is the correct perspective, the person that really actually created the world really pretty much owns the world. Because they created it concerning a certain way that operates in it's only one world. So it only operates in one way, in one pattern, in one sequence that is supposed to operate in. But hey, remember that God gave men dominion. That's all you really have dominion over the earth you know you, you that that doesn't mean that you're you created the earth that means that you he put gave you an authority of ownership of the earth and of course in this authority and ownership is for a purpose of trying to see what you are going to do with what he gave you concerning you know 
you understanding that it's, you know, all about the giver and not about the gift. Yeah, that's the whole I thing. It's, it's about the, is it, but you, you questioning, is it about the giver or is it about the gift, you know? In your heart and your desire, will you want to see will determine if you seek and ye shall find not in the doors and will be open to the to God the divine you know he, he thinks that you know he's he put us down here to seek and find him in spite of all the things that are in the world and the tr the, the the things that we can desire concerning people and things he wants us to seek and find him you know he's you know more likely playing hide and go seek you know and he wonder who's going to get his love in their hearts to seek and find him and he looking for those that will find him in spite of the things of this world and that's the whole overall ideal reality of the you know situation in the world but you know if we want to keep playing stupid that hey ooh I hey I got this hey I got that hey I, I got this and I got that and I got that and I got this and whoa I got I this is mine this is my own yeah this this your own but the question is did you create it no you didn't create it somebody took the creation like this shirt this shirt is somebody created this shirt from a fabric that was created by God you know and we have to come to terms of this understanding because we're making our wrong decisions our decisions in life based upon a wrong understanding you know what I'm saying concerning how we treat people how we treat things. We're making wrong decisions on how we conduct ourselves in life. And the thing is, what we're, the decision we need to make is we need to simply make is let's follow the rules and the guidelines of the Creator's rules and what, how He created things concerning, you know, the, how things are supposed to operate. That's what we're supposed to know. We're supposed to follow our father follow our father instructions to find out how we're supposed to treat people how we're supposed to you know treat things and do things accordingly but if we don't do that and we get this you know of course lust in our heart to think that hey it's yours and do and manipulate it how much you want with it concerning how you feel about it in the flesh and that's what's going on and wow people are going nuts and it's sad that they, you know because now look we're down here on earth and God is in heaven you know I like oh I like the parable that God uh, gave uh, the parable of the uh, person that uh, got took this man to this place and told him to take care of it, and they left. And you know he he took him and they left. And of course they were gonna come back to see how you took care of the place. You know what I'm saying? See, and it's like Jebby, it's kind of like Jebby because you were you, you were placed here to take care of something doesn't mean you're supposed to take care of it the way you want to take care of it and you can play by your own rules to do things that are you know contrary that will more likely mess up what you've been put responsible of you know and the thing is people are you know people with lust will never handle responsibility correctly you know because they will want to do a lot of things concerning they do. I mean, how many times you hear about or these movies or stuff they will have, you know, uh, someone, you know, supposed to keep the house for, you know, uh, someone was 
in charge of the house like a babysitter, you know? The babysitter's in charge of the house, in charge of this, in charge of taking care of the baby. And they go out, the parents go out and do their thing. And all of a sudden, the babysitter, you know, calls up a couple of friends to have some fun and to the house. And they bring some, you know, substance that can get them in trouble. And, you know, and they can find themselves, you know, drinking and crazy. Going, doing all kind of crazy stuff and break something and now the baby is acting up and you know and all of a sudden the parents come back and they see everything a disaster you know and they gave this person responsibility of something that it was already created and already established you know what I'm saying and they took advantage of that responsibility so they got in trouble with it, what they did and the um, parents did not let this person babysit their, their child in their house again. That's the same ordeal going on with us concerning our Heavenly Father. That He gave us this earth that see how we handle the responsibility of it and you know see you know if you we will follow His rules concerning His earth and 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 he, he's going to come back. He's going to bring his son back to go get those who treated his earth, you know, properly and judge those that didn't. That's that simple, you know, idea of the purpose of why God created this earth. And people are not trying to see that or understand that. They just, you know, just doing what they want to do, you know, or not trying to figure out because they're caught up in their world but that's the whole ob objective of satan's plan to get you caught up in this world well you know more likely the system of bell you know the doctrine of bell is all about self that people love to follow and it's crazy how people are following it and not thinking that it's not true is this it's not a it's not a system that's not going to produce the right result concerning the test that you're putting. So that's the message, guys. I hope you see the true purpose of why people are in this earth. You know, really, I just gave you the true purpose that why we're in this earth and, you know, and why God created. I mean, the test to see those will love them and those not love them. And, you know, like I said, just like Revelations, he's going to take those out that love him and judge the rest of them that, you know, don't love him. That's simple. Um, that's the message. To God be the glory to him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.